Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? Uh, so, one of the things that I was able to do when I was in prison was read a lot of books. Um, while most guys were busy watching TV or hustling soup or whatever they do there in prison, I had my nose stuck in a book. Probably one of the safest uh, things to do while you're in prison <laughs> is just read. <laughs> Sit on your damn bunk and read. Uh, so one of the books that I got to read was Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. Now Viktor Frankl was a uh, psychiatrist who uh, basically ended up living through the Holocaust uh, and goes into depth about it. And he talks about how when you're under when you're in a situation like that, that is highly traumatic, highly stressful, uh, you know, you you basically have to find ways of surviving. And one way to survive mentally and emotionally is to basically have a purpose. Viktor Frankl talks about how uh, his purpose was basically to write a book and publish his findings, and that's what kept him alive. Uh, he, he said basically, you know, if, if he just, you know, gets through the Holocaust and gets through all the, uh, the torture and the suffering, um, not knowing, you know, if you're going to die that day or not, not knowing if you're going to eat that day or not, uh, you know, you got to have a purpose to know that, okay, once this is over, I'm going to do, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever, get it done, and then my life will have had purpose and meaning, and then this suffering that I'm going through now will have been worth it. Of course, I'm not saying that uh, spending a year in prison is similar to the Holocaust. I'm not saying that at all, but it is still a traumatic event. Um, I mean, a lot of people here who, you know, they've done 35, 40 years in prison, and I mean, I, I, I can honestly cannot fathom that. I don't want to fathom that. I don't even want to think about what that's like. Um, but I've asked a lot of them, I've asked, you know, okay, what's the purpose for the rest of your life? And they have no idea. Um, they're hoping to live off disability or they're hoping to get a, get a job and then just basically make money until they die. Um, you know, hopefully not go back to prison. And the problem with that attitude is it's pretty defeatist. It's pretty fatalistic. Now, I know with my own purpose, my I have a couple of purposes. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to get you know certain things done. Um, you know, the thing of it is, is that most average people don't have a purpose. Most average people, and when I say average, I'm talking about you know 95% of the population. Now you can sit there and say, well, what about those who don't have the resources to succeed or what not? Well, you know, there's a difference between having resources and being resourceful. I saw a lot of people who were very resourceful in prison. Problem is, they could not uh, determine how to take that resourcefulness and do something in, you know, normal, quote unquote, normal society. I was talking to one guy who was in here for drug dealing. And I said, well, okay, you sold drugs for like, you know, however long and you did, you ended up doing 20 years, you know, what that tells me is that you obviously have the ambition to run a business. You just have to do it legal. You have to find a legal business. You know, I, I, I told him, I, you know, move to Colorado, go, go open up a, uh, a head shop. Um, or if you want to stay here in California, open up, a, you know, a laundry mat or, you know, get a convenience store franchise or something. Do, do something. Have, have a purpose with your life, even if it's only to, like, tell people don't make the mistakes I did. That's still a purpose. That still gives meaning to your life. Like, it, it will help you feel fulfilled. And with what I see a lot of people in society, both in this kind of a situation and in just regular normal society, is people do not have a purpose. Your purpose, your, your, your purpose for being born on this earth was not to go, you know, get a paycheck and pay taxes. That was not your purpose. I mean, if you, if you think it is and that's what you chose to do, okay, that's your choice, but you're capable of a hell of a lot more than that. You know, and, and that's the thing of it is, is, part of it is knowing, even in this type of situation, 
an individual is capable of far more than they think they are. And that was another point in the book, uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. You got to understand that just because somebody uh, or, or, or a circumstance tells you you're only capable of this or that thing, um, you got to understand that you're the one who decides what you're capable of. If you want to be capable of, like, you know, being the next Donald Trump or being the next, uh, I don't know, Ty Lopez or Oprah Winfrey or whoever, go for it. Go for it. There's no shame in trying and failing. There is shame in quitting. There's shame in not getting shit done. If you're going to be half-assed about something, then yeah, there's shame in that, but there's not shame in trying and failing. If you say, yeah, I'm going to be the next Donald Trump, okay, go for it. Learn his methods, do what he did. And if you fail, hey, at least you made an effort. At least you learned something. But don't just sit on a bump on a log and say, oh, well, society says I'm this, or my government says I'm that, and therefore that's how I have to be and that's who I am, because that is utter bullshit. Because, you know, like during the Holocaust, all the Nazis were like, oh, yeah, you Jews are, are scum and garbage and you deserve to be exterminated and all this other stuff, right? That was their opinion. The Jews, the ones who survived, had a far higher opinion of themselves than their captors. And in, as far as I'm concerned, I have a far higher opinion of myself than, you know, the prison guards or the state or whoever comes across me in life. And you as an individual, you need to have a higher opinion of yourself so that, you know, and I shouldn't do this because it's a bad habit, <laughs> but I, I want you guys to understand, I want you guys to learn that you are far more capable of what you've been taught. You just have to try. You just have to be resourceful. You just have to find that ambition within yourself and be inspired to grow and change and improve so you can actually conquer the world in the way that you want to, in, in the way that you want to and live your life the way that you want to live it. You know, don't sit there and just be a submissive sheep just doing whatever everybody else tells you. Take life by the horns because this is your only life and seize the day. Don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm going to, you know, uh, go get a paycheck every day because, you know, whatever, because my government says that's all I'm capable of. Bullshit. If somebody tells you you're not capable of something, nine times out of ten, it's because they're afraid that you're going to 